On the, the Dubois fight, I had a few issues. Um, obviously, my little boy wasn't very well. He, uh, he, was in, he was in intensive care for about three, four weeks with pneumonia. This wasn't good preparation for the biggest fight in my life, you know. I had a 10-week camp and I mainly spent probably six, seven weeks of them, you know, in a at a hospital bed, which obviously, it, it couldn't be helped, could it? Then obviously, I had my little girl being born the, the, the week of my fight. She was born on the Tuesday. She, she wasn't very well as well on the Tuesday. This was the week of my fight, so I had to get up and jump on a train and leave my wife and my newborn kid where I didn't know, you know what was happening at the time and, and go and fight. Um, looking back now, I should have probably pulled the fight. My dad wanted me to pull the fight on the Thursday. He said, he said you're, not, you're not yourself, mate, why don't we pull it? You know, we'll fight another time. There's going to be many more opportunities. But I asked for the fight as well. You know, I was, I was beating the drum to fight Daniel. Couldn't really come on the, on the Thursday, could I, and say, you know what, I don't feel right here, I'm not fighting. Because I'd let all, all the people down and I didn't, I didn't want to do that. And I said to my dad, I said, if, if I had no arms, I'm going to go in there and fight Daniel, which not taking no shine at all away from Daniel's win, the better man won on the night. But looking back there, I, w I wasn't 100%, 100% and in boxing, you can't go into, into the ring being 99%. It's, it's an all or nothing sport and them, them percentages do add up and they make a big difference. But like I said, Daniel beat me, he beat, he beat me well. Um, and good luck to him, he's doing extremely well in his career. I'm um, excited to fight next Saturday. It's been a long time coming. It's been, I think, 16 months. I'm in with uh, Richard Lati. It was, um, him and Dubois had a, a, a showdown, didn't they? You know, a proper, proper war. Some probably will say it's probably Daniel's toughest fight. Probably, you know, D uh, Richard Lati, he comes for a go. And when he gets hit, he wants to hit your back type of thing. So I think it's a good comeback fight for me. You know, a lot of people know him. He got good. Uh, he got good. Pro he got a good profile off the Daniel fight because, like I said, they had that that big exchange. So it's a good fight for me to come back to. Obviously, what I see for the next 18 months uh, going forth for 2021. Got to get Richard Lally out of the way first, but moving forward, I'd like to box for the British and Commonwealth titles. You know, whoever's whoever's got them at the time. Um, ideally, that's where I want to be. I want to, I want to, I want to fight and win the British and Commonwealth. Just because I lost a, you know, it, does, it, it hasn't stopped me ambitions. I've still got the same ambition as when I started as a professional to now. Um, the objective still remains the same. It's just um, bumps in the roads happened. Hey, hey.